Hardy Trooper, Samson Dauda, two legendary battles fans will remember forever. The return of Raphael Brandao and Wesley Vissers is the new name in classic. Tremendous action so far in 2024. Let's take a look of the action we are predicted to see in the future. Let's jump straight into it in this news episode on the Fuad Abiyad Media Channel. Welcome back everyone to the Fuad Abiyad Media Channel. I'm your host AJ and I'm really, really, really happy what we saw this start of this season. Tremendous action, but we got to look ahead. And in only two weeks, Arnold Brazil is going down. Guys, the community in Brazil for bodybuilding has never been better. The excitement, the fans... And most importantly, the sponsors, the money involved has never been better. And the Arnold Brazil is going to be crazy. Tony Burton, Rafael Brandao, Guido, and Carl Thomas Jr., four of the most exciting guys are stepping into battle at the Arnold Classic Brazil in only two weeks, guys. Rafael Brandao came back after taking a year and a half off and he delivered guys he delivered 10 pounds of stage muscle since the arnold to the since the mr olympia 2022 and it did not disappoint anyone tremendous lines crazy new size his waist is exactly the same and i just love seeing the com camaraderie with him and new coach neil hill Neil Hill actually flew down to Brazil to stay with him before the show, the Arnold, and he's now currently in Brazil, living close with Rafael as they're preparing for the Arnold Classic Brazil, and it's going to be really exciting. Rafael Brandao now is the king of Brazil, as we saw. Tremendous package. I think he's got to be considered the favorite to win it, or... Antonio Burton, guys, eighth place at the Mr. Olympia. I repeat, eighth place at the Mr. Olympia. Leading up to the Mr. Olympia, he was vocal that he felt overlooked. This time, he will not be overlooked for this Arnold Classic Brazil. He is the highest place ranked athlete going in. Rafael was 10th in 2000 and... Um, 2022 Olympia, but Tony Burton was eight at last year's Olympia. This is going to be really, really exciting. Tony Burton was scheduled to do the New York Pro, but he he's connected with a new sponsor, Dragon Pharma Brazil, I believe. And they talked to him and back and forth, and he's in for the Arnold Classic Brazil. His coach, Justin Jacoby. His new coach, I think they've been together for around a year, is traveling down with Tony Burton real soon to help him prepare for this tremendous battle. Tony Burton, who reminds fans of a Dexter Jackson type of physique, this is going to be a tremendous battle. Tony Burton versus Rafael Brandao. He can go either way. Rafael in Brazil with the new size. Otonio Burton, one of the craziest back double buys in the game. Crazy lines, crazy muscle bellies. For you fans at home, who do you think is going to win that one? That's going to be a real close, exciting battle. But we have also two guys that we know are going to bring it. Finally, good Vito. He's been a huge, huge star all around the world for about Four or five years now, we saw him coming up in the Russian Federation or the Elite Federation. I'm not exactly sure. Huge, freaky, tons of YouTube videos were made about him. And finally, he turned pro in 2022. Then he moved to Brazil. He's now a Brazilian citizen. He's just gotten a kid. And we've seen the pictures. Last year, we thought he was going to compete. Things happened. His family, he got a kid, 
I think there was some visa issues, but this time he's in Brazil, guys. There's no nothing that can stop him this time. There's no visa needed. There's nothing going on. We will finally see the arrival on stage of Good Vito. And he shares some of the similarities of a, uh, Carl Thomas Jr. with the legs, the tremendous biceps. So that's going to be a really interesting battle as we look at Carl Thomas Jr., guys. He made his pro debut at the Texas Pro. He didn't jump into some of the easier shows. He went straight in to the battle with Andrew Jack and Hunter Labrada, finishing a very respectful third place. He turned pro in 2021. Crazy legs, cartoonish legs. Arms, huge, round, crazy muscle bellies. He reminds me, he doesn't remind me of Good Vito, but they have some of the similar strength, and they're going up against each other in Brazil. And this, guys, I, I can't pick a winner. I can't really pick a winner between them two. We got to see him together. As of now, we got to give respect to Carl Thomas Jr., who's placed third in his pro debut, and I'm really excited to see the improvements. Him... And coach Andrew Wu. Andrew Wu has had crazy success with the girls. Natalia Coelho, Women's Physique Miss Olympia. Jessica Badia, figure um, runner-up at the Olympia. And now Carl Thomas. I can't wait to see this Brazilian showdown. It's going to be amazing. Muscle contest is putting it on. And I can't wait to this battle. Who do you think? Rafael? Tonio? Or can Good Vito or Carl Thomas do it? This is going to be an exciting show. And I can't wait. And we're only two weeks away. And guys, what's after that? It's the Detroit Pro. Finally. I know Mr. Fuad Abiyad and Paul have been putting a lot of effort into this. It's their big dream to have an open pro bodybuilding show. And it's finally happening. In Detroit, it's only two weeks after, no, it's only actually one week after the Arnold Classic Brazil. And we have Good Vito is confirmed. And we have some interesting um, storylines because we don't know exactly what's going to happen. What we do know is finally Martin Fitzwater is returning to stage. He got denied the Arnold Classic invitation while well, he sent the request. They didn't accept him. So Martin Fitzwater, he's hungry. He told me personally, he's up over 10 pounds since his Arnold Classic UK 2022. That was his last show, I remember, of the 2022 season. He took a year and a half off to improve. And guys, he's training with Brett Wilkins. They're back together. And now Martin Fitzwater, new coach. Boss Outlaw, you probably remember him from Nathan Diasha and Earth as one of the top guys in the game right now. And Martin is coming back and he's added 10 pounds of muscle in all the right places. And he told me his midsection is even better. He's been working on his midsection a lot. He's brought up his arms and his chest. Martin Fitzwater, the Martian, is back. And I can't wait. And guys, remember... He's going to come on for an interview later next week. So you get more detail as Martin goes into the Detroit Pro. And also, Good Vito is confirmed for Detroit Pro. We have Justin the Nightmare. Rodriguez is also in. And here comes the question marks. John De La Rosa is not 100% positive he's in. I highly recommend that he would go in as he's on the fence, as they say. He was fourth at the Arnold Classic Ohio, and he fell down one spot. No, he was also fourth at the UK, losing to Akeem there. He showed tremendous improvements from his last showing to this showing, and I would highly, highly hope he will stick to it and do damage here at the Detroit Pro, because he's definitely one to win the whole thing. Add in Akeem Williams. I talked to him, and Akeem Williams is not doing Detroit Pro. Even though he beat all the guys for the Arnold Classic UK, finished impressive third, 
he told me he needs to bring some improvements so he can peak for 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 prejudging and the finals so he will do later shows so right now we're not sure who's coming into the detroit pro the full list is not out we know samson dowda will be there he will guest post he will shake hands Obviously, Fuad will hold the Ian will be there. And obviously, Sam Sulek, the talk of the town. He was just at a tour at Muscle Orpington in the UK. And guys, the lines were out the door. Sam Sulek will be at the Fuad Abiyad Detroit Pro and the poll shows there. And it's $25,000 to the winner. And, it, and really happy to see that the money is going up for the Open. And also remember, James Howling said, will we see him at Detroit Pro? He told me he's not doing the Arnold Classic Brazil. He's in shape. He will make an announcement real soon as he's thinking, of, thinking about it. But he's really, really thinking about doing the Detroit Pro, I just spoke to him and he informed me the decision will be made soon. We definitely need a James Holling said at the Detroit Pro because he has the potential to win it. He's in shape. It's going to be a crazy battle. And I hope he enters the Detroit Pro because James Holling said it's the real deal and we want to see him at the Detroit Pro. And I predict after the Arnold Classic Brazil, we will know more guys who will be in for the Brazil, for the Detroit Pro, as they will see what happens at the Brazil. So this two shows is going to be really, really exciting. And I can't wait to see the outcome. Dubai Pro, one of the biggest shows I predict of the season is happening this summer, guys, as they increase the money to $100,000. I repeat, $100,000. No names have been um, included yet, but I'm going to give you some predictions who I think we will see. Andrew Jack, he turned no to the Arnold Classic as he pulled out early when the after the announcement came. I think in January, said he's not in the Arnold, Ohio. They said he needed improvements, and I'm Definitely looking forward to see he lives in Dubai. I see no reason why he won't do the Dubai Pro later in July with a proper offseason. It's taken a long time since he had an offseason. I'm expecting to see crazy improvements as Andrew Jack is my prediction to be in the Dubai Pro for $100,000 in prize money this July. That's definitely. Beros, the Iranian that did not get a visa, he was prepped by Milo Sarsev. He, I've talked to a lot of insiders, and he will most likely be in the Dubai Pro as there's no visa requ requirements to enter the Dubai Pro. You don't need any visa like you do for America or some parts of Europe. I'm definitely looking forward to see Beros, Andrew Jack, and Regan Grimes um, has announced on his YouTube that he is doing Vancouver for his Olympia production, uh, Olympia qualification, I'm sorry. But he's also said he would really like to do the Dubai Pro. When are you competing next anyway? Uh, July. Vancouver show. Oh, sick. The Dubai Pro, though, is also in July. It was looking pretty... Pretty cool. They doubled the prize money. Oh yeah. Yeah, which is enticing, you know. But it's a far way. Yeah. But it's a big show. Like if you win that show, that'd be good. So we'll think about it. Could you imagine Regan Grimes, Andrew Jack, Barros, and whenever there's a visa requirement, visa requirement, you know who will be there or not be there. Nathan Diasha. Nathan Diasha, obviously, $100,000 in Dubai. Definitely, I predict we will see Nathan Diasha as he hasn't been able to fly to America lately. This is a show, definitely, that he will definitely need to be in to make some good money and have that Olympia feeling again. And he can do that in Dubai. As we end this episode of news with AJ, I just want to quickly say I'm so happy with Wesley Vissers. 
it's so exciting to have a new, well, he's not a new guy, but to finally be rewarded, bring his best ever, and to have just some new spice, some new excitement to the Olympia now. It's no longer just uh, who is going to take it, Bumstead or Ramon. Bumstead or Ramon. Now it's Bumstead, his Vissers, his Ramon, his Urs. He's got to get redemption. And Ramon definitely is hungry. We got Terence Ruffin, who definitely wants to join the party. And I predict this Olympia is going to be a little bit different for Classic, as it's it's a little bit more unpredictable than it was before. And that was definitely needed. So, tremendous job, Wesley Vissers. He's finally arrived, like a real star that he is. And it just brings crazy, crazy excitement to the season. And this season... Guys, it started just fantastic. The money is going up in bodybuilding. That's such a great thing to see. We got tremendous new talents popping up. And the guys are improving. They're bringing crazy condition, beautiful body, great separation. And it's just a great, great time to be, be in bodybuilding, guys. It's fantastic. And I would also like you to subscribe to the MPC online newspaper. There's like, a, you go to email and you press subscribe on their newsletter. I'm sorry. And you get all the information from the pro, pro league directly. The wrap-ups, different shows. You get it directly into your email and it's, it's a fantastic thing. Guys, kill it. I hope everyone's enjoying either off-season or you're getting into the summer shape. If, you, if you're getting motivated by the guys and girls, fantastic to see you guys. Keep killing it. Stay on the diet. Stay focused. And until next time, and we are out. And remember to subscribe.